We will start at the top and go over anything you need to know. If you are having connection issues or your game is often loading things slowly, that might be because of your network settings being set up incorrectly. Generally, I wouldn't advise messing with these settings, but in case it is needed, go into network and test your connection. If it doesn't show any issues, then there is an easy way to fix your network connection issues, which I will talk about in a second. But if it does say that something is wrong, then you should either get in contact with your network provider or go online and search up that specific issue you are having. I won't go over this, as this video is around a performance related topic. Now as I mentioned earlier, if you are having connection issues without the network test showing anything, then it is likely that you are far away from the router. The solution is very easy and cheap, buy an Ethernet cable. It is very easy to set up. And even if you don't have any issues with your internet, wired connection is still highly recommended, as it lets you have a more stable connection. Moving on to display options. A lot of people get this wrong even though this is the most important setting. Make sure that your resolution is set to the highest one possible. As you can see mine is 1440p and for some reason it says that I could do 4K, but my monitor is not capable of that. Refresh rate. If you have an Xbox Series X or S, then you can go and enable 120Hz. This means that your game will run a lot smoother compared to 60Hz. Most games support 120Hz. You don't have to mess with device control. Night mode can be useful but only if your eyes feel dry or it is night. If you have a 4K display then you can calibrate your TV for 4K and use HDR but right now we don't need to change those settings. Next, go into video modes. Check a low 50Hz. Always keep variable refresh rate on, I can't stress this enough. If you, if you have this off then go on and turn it on right now. A low YCC. This is only needed if you have a 4K display. This might fix some issues while displaying games at 4K. Allow 4K. You should have this turned on even if you don't have a 4K display. Let me explain why. What this does is it allows native 4K for your 4K games and apps even if your console is set to a lower resolution. This essentially means that even though you might only use 180p, games that do allow this setting will look better than games that don't. If you have HDR, then you can check a low HDR10, this will make the lightning smoother and more balanced while playing. We are still in video modes, go into video fidelity and overscan. You can copy my settings here, but you, probably already, but you probably already have them like this, since these are the default values. In volume and audio output, set the headset format to Windows Sonic for headsets, unless you have Dolby Atmos for headphones. If you don't know what that is, it's an application that lets you use extremely precise sound tweaks. Once again, in additional options, feel free to pause the video and copy my exact settings. You don't have to mess with audio testing and audio setup. Next we have personalization. There's only two, thing, there's only two things I recommend doing here. First is changing the console's theme to dark. By the way, if you don't already use dark mode, then you are either a zombie or have the world most atrocious taste when it comes to personalizing your console. Second is about backgrounds. If you have a next gen console, then you can use animated backgrounds without affecting your FPS, but if you stayed loyal to your old but if you stayed loyal to your old, to your older Xbox, then it is smarter to use a stationary picture as your background. Moving on to power options. Use energy saving mode, sleep uses more energy and is less useful. Next up is system options. We don't have much to do here. If you go to console info, then you will be able to rename your console if you wish or reset it in case you have some unsolvable issues. Yes, doing this will solve most of them. Updates. Check both of these options. Your console will update itself even when it is off and save you time. And it also does the same with your games. You can skip language and location and time. Next go into storage devices. Your console will perform best if your game storage is at 80% or below that. You can always purchase external hard drives or free up space by deleting some of your games. I actually really need to do that. You don't have to change anything in access restrictions and backup and transfer. Moving on to preferences. If you want to record high quality game clips then listen to me. First, go into capture and share. Allow game captures. I have it on captures by me or games, but you can also use captures by me. Set the capture save location either to internal, 
this will save game clips to your console direct directly or use an external location. Using the second option you can record game clips up to 1 hour. Make sure to turn off automatic uploads as it will slow down your internet. Recording length is completely personal preference but I have it on 15 seconds. Set the resolution to the highest one available. In accessibility go into color filters. Set it to the first one and max out both intensity and color boost. You have now officially set up your console for maximum gaming performance. There is only one thing left to do. Use the call the correct settings in game 2. Here's how you can do it. Go into options and then display. Turn off vSync so it doesn't limit your frame rate. Use prioritize performance. This will let you play with 120 FPS. It says that it says that it might reduce resolution, but I have been using it for more than two years and it has never done it to me, so there is nothing to worry about. Field of view and HUD display are, are, are completely up to you. Some people like to use smaller values, others prefer larger ones. You will have to set it up for yourself or you can copy mine. Brightness is relative. You might be using a brighter monitor setting, so you should do use a darker value in game. This depends on the type of monitor or TV you have. Mess around with it a little bit until you like it. I guarantee that by doing everything I showed you in this video, you will improve your, improve your console's performance by a lot. Please subscribe because I am trying to make it as a full time YouTuber. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.